coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 207 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And they set it. So he counters with an effective punch there, and in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in Rich. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
What a beautiful body kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Able to check that kick as well. Big body kick lands. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with a four. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. He might get a finish here. Wow. Now it's his mouth. is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. I mean, how many can he take? Two minutes remain in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big head kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Try to establish that jab. Already closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch, Lance. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Submission defense there. Oh, right to the mount. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Round two next. was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. All right, single collar tie now. Looks like he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, 
he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be... Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, big head kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp to it. I mean, that right hand landed square. Big kick. Get in and attack that oh, beautiful one-two punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. tie here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. There's the kick. It's blocked. Straight punch lands. Landed a big kick there. The jab followed by the right hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Back to the feet now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. Ooh. Nice one, two there. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just missed with the left there. Nice straight punch. He engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on the And that's the end of round number two. Alright, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this. I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight ID. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, 
most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Oh, big elbow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just unable to quite find that range. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot be, just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Right, close guard now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Both fighters get up now here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Body kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice jab. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. Wow. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and he just continues to punish his opponent with that hook. I'm not sure how many more. He will not be able to take many more. He better understand that it only takes one in the perfect spot to end your night. A little single collar tie there. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Check these low leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive crowd. Oh, oh wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, nice. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. 
He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little bit. Strike lands there. Nice body kick. Great punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh. Right hand upstairs. And they separate. Oh, perfect head kick there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, that cut is looking nasty by the man. That All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it's starting to truly wear on him. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Good move for step. He's staying with his opponent in every transition. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. I mean, how many can he take? Oh Able to land the single ground strike there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Good punch, Lance. Big head kick, Lance. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Right hand upstairs. You take more of these leg kicks. You will not oh, and Aminari roll right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy and certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here.
All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, but stand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, next round getting underway here, and both That's fighters right, still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during the trip. Oh, lands and lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick lands. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Yeah, he mixed it all up. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big kick land. Just out of range with that strike. Back and forth, weak bull. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses with the jab. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Effective punch there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. It's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Nicely done. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Under a minute now to go in this one. Right hand punch from the clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs in. Right where he wants to be, in the clinch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, 
Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. He lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Body kick now by Lee. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game.